Right, welcome back. This time the 63 turbocharged Beetle is going to get some attention. Um, I've had the Megasquare ECU configured so that the launch control is now activated. Um, I did try and do it myself, but electronics and me just don't get on at all. So I sent it off and uh, got it back last week. Temporarily grounded the, the signal wire and it works really well. But I discovered when I was moving the car just now, the boost gauge wasn't working. Um, it seems that the signal line, the, the hose that runs from the manifold up to the boost gauge has touched the exhaust and has actually melted. So the first repair, or the first job rather, is cobble it back together again. I've got this little piece of brake line which seems to be about the right size. It's all nice and smooth. Um, I did go to the local parts shop for a connector but they didn't have any of that size. So uh, even if this just works temporarily it'll do for now. So that's nice and smooth. I'm going to use that to connect the the broken line together. Obviously, I'll cut off the melted ends and join that together and then cable tie it up out of the way because it touched the exhaust. Uh, and then we can get the switch mounted properly for the, uh, for the launch control. That should do. It's just uh, a bit of brake pipe pushed in there. It's fairly solid. Just cable tied it out of the way because it was touching the exhaust and that's what melted it. So, uh, yeah, let's get in the car, start it, and see if the gauge works. There it is. Turn the key. Neutral. Go. Hmm. Not moving. Let's try again. works right so the next thing now is to wire up the switch or install the switch for the launch control now what I've got here is a <laughs> where is it there it is a hydraulic uh, handbrake that's set up on the back wheels as a staging brake so the idea is you get to the start line hold it against the uh, the brakes so you can get the boost built up and get ready to launch and then let go of that and away you go so Ideally, the switch for the launch control needs to be on this. Now, the way I'm going to do that is with this thing. It's a pull-to-make brake light switch, so it's currently no uh, connectivity through it. No, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Continuity. There's no continuity through it. Uh, and then when you pull, pull on the on the end of that spring, it pulls the plunger out and makes the connection. So. I'm going to mount that on the tunnel there somewhere with the spring fastened to the handle so that when I pull the handle it pulls the switch, makes the circuit and engages the launch control. Well that's the plan anyway. So the first thing to do really is to make a bracket to mount that on. Just a simple piece of angle with a hole through it will do fine. So uh, yeah, I'll get on with that first. Right, got that small piece of angle which will work perfectly for the switch. So that's going to mount through there um, size wise look it's absolutely spot on so um, so yeah the next thing to do is work out what size hole I need to drill drill a hole in it and then just tidy it up a little bit because obviously it's not cut square it's just a piece of scrap I had lying around but it will do the job nicely so I'm going to put into that piece or sorry drill into there and then try and make it a nice smooth shape on the top because don't forget this is in the passenger footwell so we don't want any sharp edges down there so um yeah let's get that drilled next it's got my little stash of new tools from tool station as well these scribes are dead handy but i'm always losing them so i bought two of those some center punches <laughs> some strong sellotape come on there we are some center punches another scribe set of drills and some welding wire because that's always handy to have in so i'm going to try out the new drill bits and see if we can uh, get a hole for that in that right that's perfect that fits nicely in there like that so i'll just make this a bit nicer on that shape now take the corners off it and then that's ready to weld into the car and that's it finished up and rounded off nice and clean nice and neat looking and uh, the switch is mounted in it 
The switch is adjustable, the fume mill either way, so I've just sort of centered it so that I can get a rough idea. I can always fine tune it later. But uh, for now, I need to mount that in the car and figure out exactly where it's going to go. I was going to weld it, but I've decided to fix it with screws. Uh, it's dead solid, it's not going to move. And uh, if I do decide it needs welding in the future, I can use these screw holes to hold it in place while I weld it. Plus it's got all this horrible tarboard stuff on that I didn't particularly want to take off. So um, yeah, that's in place now. I'll get the switch on and get it wired up. Right there it is on its bracket. Um, it's got one wire here coming from the ECU into the switch. The wire come out of the switch and down to earth or ground. So when I pull the handbrake, it engages the switch and turns the launch control on. When I let go of the handbrake, launch control's off. And away we go.